SoCal. We're going to head back into this change a little bit for today and then slightly into tomorrow. But today is going to be the most of it where we do have a chance to see already some drizzle out there and then some light little sprinkles. If you're closer to the mountains, some showers and thunderstorms are possible too. The more north you are, the better your chances are. Burbank right now, it's overcast. It's about 62 degrees. And as we take it down into Malibu, we have a mixture. We have marine layer clouds. We have mid and high level clouds because of this low. This is an unseasonably cool, very rare uh, storm that's going to be hey, passing stud. by. And Make it's sure cut to off like, too. It's a cut off low. It does not follow the jet stream. And below. that's why we've had some changes in terms of timing this week. So it's kind of been pushed up a day compared to several days ago. We're supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday. We're now looking at today into Friday. Live Mega Doppler 7000 HD showing some of those thunderstorms and showers really over central California still. And I'll show you on the satellite in a moment where that low is and why those thunderstorms are moving through that area. But traveling kind of through the middle areas, that's why we have this flood watch that is in place as this low exits as we head into tomorrow. It's going to be pretty slow moving, but we do have this flood watch in place because it could spin up some pretty thunderstorms. Cool. 55 degrees only in Santa Clarita. It's 34 up in a big bear, so our mountains are chilly. What this low pressure system is doing is it's dropping down the central coast and then it's going to track over SoCal all the way into tomorrow. So yes, it's moving very slowly. That's why San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara County, Ventura County will have the best options and opportunities to see some of this. Models not doing a great job on picking up on what we'll see, although this could be pretty accurate as well because we're not expecting to see a whole lot. Some areas won't pick up anything at all. Others probably a couple hundredths of an inch unless you're under a thunderstorm next week. So the first day of fall will get much warmer into the mid 80s and then even slightly warmer Monday. Today 66 degrees chances again of some sprinkles. So it's going to be a bit breezy to windy for some spots. But that warm up will be on the way. The first several days of fall will be on the warm side. Tony, I'll send it back to you.